Governor Abbott and the Texas Education Agency announced a reimbursement program to get school districts back on their feet. CBS 4's Karina Vargas spoke to the TEA and educators about the reimbursement plan and how that affects those not wanting to return for in-person instruction. This is long overdue. Um, so this was something that there was a need for since the pandemic, you know, before the pandemic started. The Texas Education Agency and Governor Abbott announced a 420 million reimbursement program for Texas schools. The program, which is intended to give back the money spent during the transition to remote learning. We actually asked districts to give us a gauge of how much they had to spend on connectivity devices, how large was their expense. While the reimbursement will help school districts who've spent thousands of dollars on connectivity devices, some educators say they need more funding for the future. The reimbursement brings about the question, you know, is, is TA going to guarantee funding for schools throughout the year, right? Because it has not been clear Clarissa Riojas is an educator who worries about the funding and TEA's plan to return for in-person instruction. She says there needs to be more flexibility when deciding to continue remote learning. We were a COVID hotspot, right? And it looks like it's going to get that way again. We need to have the option to go remote as opposed to just being forced to stay in person. While TEA did not comment on their return to in-person instruction or funding for this school year, they are hopeful their reimbursement plan will help support remote learning during COVID-19. Operation Connectivity is, is a long-term initiative, and, and the goal is, is to not just figure out short-term solutions. It's to make sure that, um, you know, Internet connectivity is really seen as a utility and something that's a necessity. Working for you in Harlingen, I'm Karina Vargas. And the Texas State Teachers Association says they applaud legislators' efforts to cancel the annual STAR exam. Association officials say in part, quote, standardized testing should be the last priority for students, educators, and policymakers during the middle of a deadly pandemic, which now is getting worse. However, Texas Education Commissioner Mike Morass says the test is still set to happen.